what's up guys today is still March 23rd 2020 I did a video earlier today uh, I spoke briefly about the um, uh, coronavirus and the, uh, the, effect, the effect that it's, uh, it's having on uh, the world you know on the globe on planet earth the inhabitants of planet earth mainly human beings and at this moment, it's 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 uh, it has basically sent many people into panic mode. Uh, but I do believe if uh, if if you know people practice you know cleanliness, you know wash their hands and it is safe to stay home. If people could do that, then that would curtail or reduce the, the spread. You know, basically keeping it contained, and that's why I guess uh, they've uh, asked that people self quarantine. Uh, it's not a national uh, thing yet to the point where they have forced everyone to uh, quarantine, but they've asked uh, in certain states they have, you know, like California cities throughout California and New York State or whatever, New York City uh, and other cities also, I think, like say, like in Ohio somewhere and here in Minnesota, they've asked people to self quarantine in like Milwaukee and you know Wisconsin or whatnot, uh, but it hasn't. It's not uh, a national. Uh, it's not mandatory, you know, per se, like in terms of uh, the martial law or the, uh, the curfews, uh, forced curfews. But uh, that's but that is what's going on, like in San Francisco and I think parts of L.A. and uh, like I said, in New York. You know, they've basically. Uh, quarantined or forced people they've given people uh, curfews uh, you know you gotta be in house at a specific time and um, you can't venture out um, that's necessary but uh, I think you gotta what you were saying is that uh, you have to um, uh, you have to have a, a, a important reason to leave so it's almost like basically the city's locked the cities are locked down and hopefully that doesn't become a reality uh, throughout uh all of the rest of America. Uh, and I was speaking earlier about Taiwan and how they have uh, moved in a preemptive way. They have uh, prioritized uh, the coronavirus. They basically been, uh, they've been, uh, implemented steps uh, over a month now. So, you know, March. So basically, uh, I think in like November is when they basically uh, pretty much uh, took the necessary steps to uh, to quarantine uh, certain individuals that uh, have contracted the, uh, the symptoms of coronavirus. They prioritized uh, the treatment efforts and, you know, in implementing the uh, whatever necessary uh, treatments uh, needed to, uh, to contain it uh, and to at least uh, get the, these people help and to basically contain uh, it and so it would, would not spread. Uh, and I've heard that they have also, uh, they've implemented, uh, they've also basically uh, implemented martial law uh, throughout the country. And uh, early on, it, they took the necessary steps or early on. And they, I was, I've learned that they paid people, people that were sick, they paid those people to stay, or they paid people, you know, to stay home if need be, to basically to, reduce the spread or prevent the spread of the coronavirus. So they pay people like in the United States, uh, they uh, have, have advised it's best that people stay home. You know, they've basically closed a lot of schools. Uh, nationally, they, uh, they've uh, pretty much uh, laid people off temporarily until further notice until uh, this coronavirus could be contained. Uh, and I guess what they're talking about now is, uh, I guess, compensating people for uh, those that uh, uh, cannot go to work because people have to earn a living. And uh, but I also heard some things um, that uh, about the uh, the Senate, uh, I guess, did not approve of uh, certain compensations or monies that could uh, help people that uh, are forced to stay home people that uh, have basically like, temporarily have been laid off or even those that have lost their jobs. Uh, so they're still, they're still trying to figure out how to uh, go about uh, giving people financial compensation or aid. 
so I don't know. Uh, maybe they need to figure out how the Taiwanese government did it, and because uh, they how they have done it uh, is it's kind of like a a model that maybe uh, what you're saying that is a model that other nations could uh, adapt or adopt, and uh, uh, it's expensive. The government has to uh, have to basically kick out some money. You have to pay the people, you know. You know, have to pay people for staying. So you stay home, stay home. We got to contain this, and you got to give people an incentive to, you know, be willing to stay home, not to venture out too much. You know, uh, if you got to get to the store, you got to get to the store. The stores are still open. Thank God, the stores are still open. They're make, still making their money, but even though. A lot of the shelves are bare and they have to stock a lot of these shelves daily and the products or certain specific products are disappearing off the shelves as fast as they uh, are stocked on those shelves. So I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of bored right now. I, you know, off work. <laughs> I worked in a few days. So uh, a lot of people haven't worked in a few days or a week. So you got to figure out some way of occupying your time, you know, you have to, I'd say, you know, to, to fight the monotony or the boredom or whatnot. You don't want to uh, become a victim of cabin fever syndrome, you know, <laughs> sickness or whatnot. Uh, so, so I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to do a series of videos and while um, I'm uh, trying my best to cope with this, I'm trying not to be bored, uh, you know, and family, everyone is, is well. Everyone is doing well. Uh, I'm doing well myself. Uh, and, uh, yeah, got my face mask. We, you know, we have, you know, our gloves, face mask. We uh, soap, water. We have uh, sanitation, uh, uh, sanitize, uh, sanitizer. Uh, we have tissue, napkins, and food, and water. And we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We, we could, uh we can maintain so I hope everyone out there is maintaining I hope you guys are taking care of each other and keeping your heads up this is not going to last forever it, it will be over it's just uh, just just take care of yourselves take care of your health uh, wash your hands wash your ass and uh, if you're sick don't venture out man stay your ass home you know Hopefully they don't implement martial law. Uh, uh, people could just practice uh, containment, practice discipline, you know, self-quarantine themselves. Don't leave out unless necessary. I believe we could uh, we could reverse the uh, the uh, the effects of this, you know, and uh, send it, you know, in the opposite direction. So that's that's uh, the goal because we don't want them to uh, force us into a, a martial law. Uh, status or state, you know, you know, because once they do that, then they will, you know, will uh, ample uh, curfew will be implemented. We don't want that. I'm looking at uh, it's a beautiful day outside. I mean, extremely beautiful, man. It's so beautiful out there. Really nice and sunny. So that's that's always a plus when you know we have sunlight. That's beautiful. So there's always hope. There's sun, and and it's 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 springtime. It's it's been. Uh, what is it? Just a, uh, so spring half came about early this year, the nineteenth. So what is that? Nineteen twenty-one. So the third, the, the third day of spring. We're three days into spring right now, twenty twenty. March nineteenth, twenty twenty. This was the first day of spring. So we're three days into spring, twenty twenty. And that's 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 it's positive. I love it. It's beautiful. It's sunny out there. So thank God we have sun. It's not cloudy. Because in Minnesota, we we rarely. Uh, get sunlight uh during uh the winter months so it's it's nice and sunny right now so wherever you guys are in the world man be safe uh, cover your mouth your cough your sneeze or whatever cough like this <coughs> you gotta cough <coughs> like that or if any of you use your hands to cover your mouth or sneeze cover your mouth or sneeze into your you know, to your the inner part of your arm, and uh, whatever. Still, yeah, you know, wash your hands. If you use your hands and the cough or cover your suppress your cough or cover your cough or to prevent airborne uh, st strands or bacteria 
from floating around, sneezing, and you know, getting the nasty particles out there. Cover you and cover your mouth with your hands, and then wash your damn hands. Use uh, you know, warm soap and water. I mean, warm water and soap, or hot water and soap. Well, not too hot. You don't scald yourself, but hot enough with uh, uh, soap. And I was told that you should wash your hands at least twenty seconds. So 20 seconds, I think that's it. But I think they say 20 seconds or is it 30 seconds? 20 seconds. Wash your hand for 20 seconds and uh, dry them off thoroughly. But you don't want to you don't want to wash your hands all the time. Like just throughout the day, you don't get real crazy about it. Just, you know, and if you could wipe down doorknobs and stuff, which is what I did. I wiped down every doorknob in the house. I used Lysol spray, a little bit of bleach and just wipe stuff down, man. You know, walls and uh uh, you know, mop the floors and stuff with bleach and pine salt and wipe down the doorknobs and, you know, went to the bathroom and the toilet seat, the, the sink, wipe everything down, spray the mirrors down, Windex, wipe everything down, you know, spray lights all around the toilet and, you know, you got to clean the toilet and wipe it all down and did all that. So spray the tub and, you know, yeah, It'll be sanitized. Anyway, we're going into 11 minutes, uh, 15 seconds into this video. So I'm going to end it here. And uh, you guys just take care, okay? Peace.